Hey guys, Michael Neff here, Director of Gear Sports, and today uh, we're going to start a series, a little video series on the shaft. Uh, we're going to do seven short videos, and this is going to be the first one, and we're going to talk about grip speed. Um, and uh, I've picked Ricky Fowler and Jonas Blix to to do these this study, this video with, because they basically do things very different. Um, grip speed is basically measured from the center of the grip throughout the whole golf swing. And uh, there's a graph uh, under club graphs. If you go to grip speed, it's right here. And it basically gives you the player in gold is the, this player and the player in blue is this player. And it gives you the differences. Um, and then you can make it big by clicking that or just kind of collapse it like that. So there's the graphs for you. Um, but grip speed basically is um, just the, the handle speed as really... It has some to do with the club head speed, but here we have Ricky uh, Jonas Blix actually has a uh, uh, Ricky Fowler's grip speed actually never gets this fast, um, and yet he has a Jonas has a cl lower club head speed. So Jonas is like roughly 111, Ricky's 114, 13, and obviously I think both players have more in the tank if they wanted to, but. Um, this is just their stock swing, but it's kind of interesting that Jonas has a faster grip speed. Uh, it never it gets up to like 23 miles per hour. Ricky's grip speed never gets that fast ever in the golf swing. Um, yet yeah, his club hit speed does get faster. So grip speed is independent. Um, it is an independent measurement that we give, and uh, it's from the center of the grip. And um, the relationship is kind of interesting. This is the peak. Um, this is the peak grip speed for Jonas, and this is the peak speed for Ricky. So uh, they both swing the golf club very differently. They, they, they swing the grip very differently, and they're going to offend or move the shaft very differently too. And that's going to affect a, a lot of different dynamics. But um, at this point, what I wanted to kind of show you is that, generally speaking, the players with and we'll take them all the way back down to impact. So at this point, Jonas is 23 and a half and Ricky's 22 and a half. If we take them both to in, uh, impact, Jonas is still at 19 and a half and Ricky's all the way down to 15. So Ricky's really slowed his grip speed down. That's probably where he's getting some of the uh, extra club head speed, although there's other factors there, which our force and torque uh, friends are illustrating very well. Um, but usually what we see is much faster grip speeds in players that are more rotary. So for example, like David Toms has 22 miles an hour grip speed with his driver and he maxes out, I think around 107 with his driver. So he has a faster grip speed. And basically when you keep swinging the handle, um, when you keep the grip speed kind of moving fast, the club head speed isn't going to be quite as fast. So as you slow the grip down, that club head's going to start to jam uh, or is going to start to increase its speed. So in Ricky's case, the club head speed basically drop starts about right here. About this point, Ricky's going to start to really slow down his grip speed, and then the club head speed's going to start to really go um, much faster at this point. So generally speaking, um, you could maybe I don't I don't know if I want to use the term you know hitter versus swinger or kind of a, a sla you know kind of a slasher versus more rotary i'd actually don't know if there's a real good definition out there for you know kind of more of a rotary type of player or somebody that kind of more cracks the whip um ricky definitely if he, you know if he if he had a whip in his hand he would be cracking the whip earlier than jonas's jonas is and um so usually we see this kind of uh, pattern with slower grip speed players are more vertical players. Um, <clears throat> they're going to, uh, in almost every case that I have seen, um, the slower grip speed players have higher handles, they have more grip roll, and they have higher closure rate and more club head speed. Um, than do the players with the lower um, uh, grips or with the higher grip speed and lower club head speed. So we'll get to the other metrics in the other videos, but this is basically how we define grip speed. And um, 
you know, knowing where that player kind of starts to unwind that grip uh, or slow down the grip and where the club head speeds up is really important in, in teaching and in club fitting. Um, because if you're teaching Ricky Fowler and he, and he really, un, you know, he kind of cracks the whip about right in here, he starts to slow the grip speed down where Jonas is, you know, about right in here. So if I'm, if I'm teaching these two players and I'm not considering the golf club at all, um, I might be really fighting this golf club more than I am my student. And we get kind of, you know, kind of stuck on just getting these guys in the positions that we want, but there's so many other things going on here. Uh, <clears throat> so Ricky is definitely going to offend the shaft more than Jonas is. And so if he's going to move the shaft more, we better be paying attention to the golf club and what, what, how stiff the golf club is and to give him the, the proper face mapping and, um, and all these, the shaft, how he moves the shaft and what kind of shaft he has is going to definitely affect angle of attack and path. All these things are affected. The shaft is moving the head and the grip is moving the shaft and the body is moving the grip. So it's all kind of this big chain and understanding where that occurs is really critical. So usually the slower grip speed players have faster club head speed and the higher grip speed players are have slower club head speed and accurate driver the ball speed so anyways that's a little short video on grip speed you need to know where your players are creating uh, where the grip speed maxes out at so that you can understand uh, the other dynamics that are involved so next video up is going to be on grip roll